How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Crying as recorded by Roy Orbison on guitar. This is a must-know country song and it's got a beautiful melody and a beautiful chord progression. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step, show you the strumming patterns and all the chords you need to know to get playing the song today. Before we get started though, I want to hook you up with something right away. At the first link down below, I've got a free book that you can get that's all about soloing. And this book has got over a hundred licks and exercises that are really just going to help you open up the fretboard and get some new melodic ideas into your playing. So check that out as my gift to you at the first link down below and with that said let's break this song down let's break down how to play crying as recorded by Roy Orbison on guitar now we're gonna start out on a D chord and we've got a little intro that sounds like this then the verse Alright, so we've got a lot of just the D chord at the beginning, and I'm doing the simple strumming pattern that you can play as sort of a general guide throughout. So we're going to hold down that D chord, open two, three, two, and we're going to go one, two, and. That's our strumming pattern. I'm going to play all downs, just one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and verse. We're going to play five bars of D. We're going to move up to a D augmented chord. And what we're doing is we're just taking this D chord and we're moving a note within it. So it's going D, and we'll take that note and move it up to the third fret and get a D augmented. And then you can go like this, which is a D6. You can think of this as like a G major 7 over D. What, what I'm playing is open fourth string, then four, three, two. So again, that note just moved up, but I kept these two notes from the D chord there. So when we get to this chord, we go stop, two, three, four, and then G minor. So we hit that chord on the downbeat and then we rest right away. So this, this movement from where the chords start changing are D, D augmented, one, two, three, four. Then we go to a G minor chord, and you can play that like this bar chord on the third fret, but I like using these thumb chords, so I do the same thing, but with my thumb. Then D, then A7 for two bars. Then we go to the next part, and this is where the words go, crying over you, and that sounds like this. Okay, this is the first eight bars of this section. I'm going D, to F sharp minor, and again, I'm just using that thumb chord, so it's the same as the G minor, just one fret lower. So either do this or do this, and that's just two, four, four, two, two, two. So we're gonna go D, F sharp minor, and again. Then we go to G, to A7, and do that again. And then we do the, the ascending kind of chord progression here that we played earlier. Then G minor, then D, two bars, A7, back to D. Then we go back and we repeat the whole thing again. So we go back to the beginning and let me just play this B section 
all is one piece. So it's like an 18 bar little section here. And again, this is where the words come in, crying over you, crying over you. Here's what it sounds like, starting on the D. One, two, three, four. and D, D augmented, D6, G minor, D, two bars, A, D, Okay, then we have a second ending here, and this part, basically, we go back to the top, we play everything again, we do the break stop to say hello, G minor. Then we do this time two bars of D, so one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and A7. Then we get to the final B section. It starts off the same way as the first B section. Here, when we land on this D, we start emphasizing the rhythm a little bit more. We go like one, two, and three, four, and D augmented, G6, G minor, D. Stay there. B minor, G. So a little twist there at the end, once we go to that B minor, we've got two, four, four, three, two. And then we just play it out, we end on beat three like this. One, two, and three. Have fun practicing crying as recorded by Roy Orbison on guitar. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Don't forget to sign up for my free guitar training at the first link down below. If you get value out of my videos here on YouTube, you're gonna get a ton more value out of the videos at the first link down below that are not on YouTube. And they come with tabs and sheet music, and it's just some exclusive content that's really gonna help you out. As always, leave any song requests down below for future video ideas. If you wanna support me here on the channel, check out my website, John McLennan. Com. I've got a lot of great resources on there for improving your guitar playing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.